Hello friends, this is Amanda, who is the creative behind Life Full of Color, which you saw the commercial for yesterday. So I thought today we'll get to know her a little bit and how she ended up designing a full capsule for Yes Theory. Amanda is a brilliant creative and I can't wait for all of you to meet her and get to know her story. So I went to college to become a physician assistant. I got into a competitive five-year bachelor's and master's program and I realized two years into my time at school that my creative side was stirring. I wasn't really exploring as much as I knew that I had within me. You know, sitting in anatomy class wasn't really doing it. So ultimately, I ended up reading this guy, Jesse Itzler's book, Living with the Seal. And he's this incredible entrepreneur. Anything he did, he didn't have previous experience in. He just got his foot in the door first and then figured out the rest later. When it came time to starting grad school, I realized that my heart was completely somewhere else. And so even though I was three out of five years into this competitive program, I made the decision to take a leave of absence and really follow my intuition that was leading me towards my creative and entrepreneurial self. So in those next couple months after I took a leave of absence, I showed up to Jesse Itzler's book signing, the same guy whose original book I read, and he recognized me. I had taken his course, I was the youngest person in the course, and everything I did within that cohort of his Build Your Life resume course, I offered my help. And so when I showed up to his book signing, he was like, Amanda, I recognize you from my course. You've been so helpful. I, like, I'm, I'm an Amanda fan. And I was like, what's this guy saying? He's a fan of me? Like, I, he's like, you're the youngest one. And, and at this book signing, he was like, you know, maybe you, you want like an internship or something? And I'm like, yes, Jesse Itzler, I do want an internship. So after a few emails back and forth, literally only three or four, I had one that said, Amanda, would you be interested in moving to Atlanta and working for me and my wife? They were like, move here and we'll figure it out. Like, you know, you let's just figure out where you fit. I was positive vibes intern for the first six months. Like they just hired me because they wanted me there. And it was like, let's throw you everywhere and like see where you fit. That's where my life changed. I moved to Atlanta and that's, this was two years ago and I'm still there and I find myself in this creative field where I get to design and film and edit and and learn from this incredible human, Jesse Itzler. Like I really think if humans listen to their intuition a little bit more, they might find themselves in places where they actually feel fulfilled. So that's how you got your foot in the door with Jesse. How did you get your foot in the door with Yes Theory? How did you end up here? Yeah, that's another good story. When I moved to Atlanta, I was new. I knew I had no family, no friends there, and I was introduced to Yes Theory videos. I was like, wow, this is all about meeting strangers and getting to know people and putting yourself out there. And I knew that if I wanted to collaborate with Seek Discomfort and Yes Theory, it would be up to me to make it happen. So when quarantine happened and COVID hit, I realized I had to figure out how to spend my time. If I'm spending all this time inside, what can I create? How can I make the best out of this scenario that generally really sucks? <laughs> So I decided no better time than to work on this Yes Theory collaboration. So I knew I had to do every single step of the project to present it to them. So all they had to do was say yes. I started coming up with this concept of life full of color. If we were put on earth to be comfortable, we would probably see in black and white. That it, to me was how I processed quarantine and, and reflected is like my personal mission is to live a life full of color, to be curious. The goal is to live the full spectrum of color. You want the full rainbow, which includes the darker shades. And so I came up with this whole concept that now is my personal mission, my mantra, and I applied it to seek discomfort because I feel like they kind of go hand in hand. I created these collages and put them on shirts and, and basically printed all the clothing. I, I created like a lookbook. We took all these beautiful photos and I knew I couldn't just put it into Google Drive and say, okay, you know, click through these. Like I wanted to present it as well as possible. You know, Yes Theory creates all these incredible experiences for people. So I was thinking, okay, how can I create something for them that they're not expecting? I was, I felt so good about it because I poured my heart and soul into it that even if they said no, which would go against the yes theory, so they, they said yes, that like I was so proud of what I had created. So once we decided to follow through with this collaboration, I flew out to California to meet up with the yes team and shoot a commercial for Light Full of Color. It was amazing then to like go to the dye house and like watch this get embroidered. I mean, the whole process is was phenomenal to know that it's come this far that within from like March to November like all this can be created from like my brain and the yes team's brain and just like how amazing is that like humans can do this and then 
you can wear it and talk about it. And like, that is just what amazes me about the world. And that's the point of living. My biggest goal and my purpose would be to inspire you guys to live a life full of color. And when you put these on, embrace yourselves, embrace the emotions, embrace everything that basically life throws at you because you have a choice. And when it comes to it, you wouldn't want to live in black and white, would you? If you were given a life of black and white, would you take it upon yourself to seek some color? Leave your comfort zone. See what you discover. It's up to us. And we choose the full spectrum of color and chaos. It's the red flush of your face when you lock eyes with a lover and leaning into moments that make your stomach flutter. A life full of color isn't always vibrant. It's acknowledging the gray space that comes with misalignment, permitting the hesitations that cross your mind to filter through, and accepting yourself even when you're feeling blue. When was the last time your heartbeat synced with the sound of the drums? Immerse yourself in that and see what your life becomes. Living a life full of color is practicing presence and making time with your friends, asking the hard questions because that's where the real growth begins. And when you find your light dimming, surrender to the flow. You're living a life full of color, which means every shade of the rainbow. You like that? Yeah, yeah. Give a high five, give a high five.